Welcome to Azul Coding. This video will show you how to make a video from a selection of images using WPF. As always, there will be a link to all the code in the description. I'll be writing this in C Sharp, but there's a VB.net translation available if you follow the link. I've started by creating a very simple window with a button that the user will click on to select as many images as they like, and place all those images into a video slideshow. Before we go on to the code, we first need to add a few references to the project. To do this, Click on Project in Visual Studio and then Add Reference. The first reference is System.Windows.Drawing, make sure that's ticked. And the second is System.Windows.Forms, so we can add an open file dialog. The last thing we need to do is add the Video Creator package. There are many options available, but I'll be using Accord for this video. To add the package, go to Project again and click on Manage NuGet Packages. Then search for Accord FFmpeg in the Browse tab and choose between the 32 or 64 bit version. I recommend installing version 3.3 because I find the video quality of the later versions is quite poor. So now that's installed, let's look at the code. Firstly, make sure that the reference to Accord has been added here. I started by adding an open file dialog, setting the initial directory and file format filter, making sure the multi select is set to true. Let's begin by rendering each image the user selects. So if we add this code into the button click event handler, we start by creating the video file using the open function. I decided to save it in my videos folder, which can be easily retrieved using environment.special folder. And I've set the frame size to full HD quality, frame rate to 10, and the codec to H264. This is the codec for MP4 and there are multiple other ones to choose from, such as AVI or WMV. The next part of the code is a simple for loop that turns each image into a system.drawing.bitmap at the right size. And then we have to write each frame of the video. Since it's 10 frames per second, 20 here will be 2 seconds spent on every image. To finish off, we'll close the video writer and show a message box. Let's test it and see if it works. If I click on the button and select some images, and then open the video file. Now you can see that this image that wasn't rectangular like the other one has been stretched. So this takes us on to the next bit, which is scaling images and making sure their aspect ratio is maintained. So if we replace the code in this for loop with this. So what's strange is that we first create a blank bitmap at the full size of the video and add the scaled image on top of that. This section of code is where the mask comes in to do that, but it's essentially reducing the width and height to fit inside the video frame using the ratio here. And we use this system.drawing.point to make sure that the image is centered on the screen, otherwise it would stick to the left of the video. Let's test it again and see the result. Add in the same images as before. And the image is no longer stretched. Lastly, you might want to add a background colour instead of having those black bars at the side of the image. All that takes is one line of code, and you can change white to any other preset colour, or use the from ARGB function. Let's see how it looks with the background colour. And there we are. So let's summarise what we covered today. First we looked at creating a new video using the open function and writing each frame using a for loop. Then to avoid the image being stretched, we scaled down the image using the ratio. And lastly we added a background colour to the video. All of the code in this video is available on my website and the link will be in the description. Why not check out the other videos on my channel and don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and subscribe to keep up to date with the latest from Azul Coding. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.